Oh, is this the... Is this the holding cell? Yes, it is. Hi, Canning. Bye, Canning. Thank you. Touch screen. Ooh, okay. Change camera, current input, review input, download current image. Okay, download current image. I downloaded the image onto my cell phone. Okay. No, no, I didn't. Um, oh, can we call the office? Nothing but static. Okay. Uh, phone. Who should I call? No, I don't want to call anyone. Okay, monitor. Alright, hold on. Figure this out. Change camera. Camera one. Okay, that is the hallway. Okay. Change camera, camera two. That is... I don't know what that is. Camera three. Okay, some sort of pistons or something. Cam... Change camera. Camera four. Okay, that's Canning's office. Camera five is restricted. It needs a passcode. Okay. Oh, God. What if it's July 28th? Oh, no. It's a four-digit passcode. There was no zero. Right? Oh, crap. Hold on. Yeah, there's no zero. Okay. Never mind. Uh, current input. Okay. Review input. It must be old footage. It shows Canning working at his desk. There's something written on the notepad in the corner, but I can't quite make it out. Okay, so... Okay, maybe we have to go back to the notepad? One eternity later. Oh! Gosh, Eric, you're so smart. Review input. Monitor with the lens. That's it. I can make out the numbers on the notepad. 7759. Maybe it's the passcode for the blast door? Barrel, it smells like petrol. Okay. This is a barrel of petrol. Um, okay, so we have a code five, what was it? Do I, did I just forget it completely? 7759. View. 7759, okay. Just writing that down. Might as well. I mean, yeah. Okay. Maybe we have to go back to the the hub and see if that works. Oh, I have to remember. Guys, it's the second anniversary of Planet Zoo. Hooray! We're a brand new animal for free. There we go. We got one. Yay! It's so stiff with rust that it'll take two hands to turn it. It's not gonna happen while I'm in plaster. Okay. So can we tell Dr. Hardy? We might as well tell her. Alright, she she doesn't care. Okay, cool. Alright, so we have one what thing. That? Okay, Janine! Janine! Get out of here, you useless bitch! Janine! 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 Get over here! Janine! Janine! Okay, hold on a second. Uh, let's talk to Can- I wanna see about- maybe- does Canning have, like, a key card or something? Oh, no. We don't have anything to say to him. No, come on. Okay, stop, 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 stop. Okay. Janine? There's also Janine. this here. 
Instructions for opening locker. You only have to ask. What? Okay. Who do we ask? Do we ask Canning? Sir? No. Okay. <laughs> seven, seven, six, one, no. Or six, zero, no. You only have to ask. Oh, do I have to write open? Oh my god, if I have to write open, that's gonna be like one of the stupidest- Open! Oh, wow. That's the stupidest co- It was. Co <laughs> Sometimes it's simple. That's the stupidest combination ever in my life! It's like what some idiot would have on his luggage! <laughs> What's the combination to the air shield? One, two, three, four, five. Really? Yes! That's amazing! That's, that's the same combination of my luggage! Get the clothes? I can't uh. <laughs> fathom a use for them. Okay, what's in there? I guess there are civilian clothes belonging to one of the cultists. Oh wait, ooh, wait, 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 ooh, ooh, key card. Take that motherfucking key card! Yes! No life, I ate before- well, actually, I ate right before starting the game. I was actually nomin on a food slot. Insert key card. There! Excellent wood, Mr. Dacoby. I wouldn't have thought a bureaucrat such as would have huh. such a head on his oh, shoulders. There we go. I hope that was a compliment. Now we need to turn both wheels simultaneously. Now I think we need to turn both wheels simultaneously. No, it's no use. I oh, need both God, hands free. Can people hear me? Yes. I see. Then we are going to need another pair of hands. Leave it to me, I guess. Hydrate now and stretch. Okay. Stretching. Uh. How's 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 my voice sounding? I'm a little bit worried. No, you sound good to me. Okay. Is the stream still coming through? It seems like it is. Yeah, it's still coming through. I'm just I'm just noticing that my voice connection is very very low. <laughs> I get that on a personal level. Oh. <coughs> oh, careful, sweetheart. Okay, let's go get. J Wait, oh, can no. we just can we just call Janine? Hold on, Janine. Janine. Yeah. Uh. We need your help to open the hub. Have you seen Sam? <laughs> oh, I don't think I could. Well, you have to, Janine. You're the only one who can help. We'll just get it open and then we can get out. I know, but what if I run into him? Look, there's no one else around. Ah! Canning is in the cell. His what guard the fuck, Curry? His guard is dead. Dead? Aside from us three, nothing else is moving, I'm certain. Come on now. This is our ticket out. Okay. I'll be there soon. Ready? Let's get the hell out of here. One, two, three, go. All right. Three, two, one. Uh, I guess I can't be heard right now. No, I can hear you. I don't see anything. Oh, good. Wait here. I'll check it out. Do and I'll probably die in the next shot. Do you trust her? Do you? Even if she no. gave me every reason to. I know what you mean. But right now, she seems like our best hope of getting out of there. Even so, there's gotta be a reason she doesn't want us to know about her work. And I'm not sure we should trust her about going there alone. Hey, after you, man! Dr. Hardy? Uh, oh. She's dead. Yep. I knew it. She's dead. Aren't you gonna say something? I can't think of anything. I can. We're gonna die down you here. You know her longer. Don't say that. 
We're not going to die. If we can get back into the hub... You don't get it! He won't- he won't let us out! He won't let me out! You have to stop him! What are you talking about? I see you. Oh, I see what you are! You're one- the one who did this to me! I didn't do anything to you! Why won't you stop him? How many times do you have to kill him? Janine, you're not making any sense! You're mistaking me for someone else? Mr. Dacoby? Yes? I'm sorry, I... Leave me alone! Janine! I wouldn't go there if I were you. Useless as always. Night has fallen. The prince is on the prowl. What about Janine? She is in no danger. At least not from him. Remain here until morning. Tell me who you are. Are you with the cult? My identity is meaningless. I am just an avatar. And I have no allegiances. If you're not with the cult, help us get out of here. It'd go badly for you if you don't. There's going to be some serious police action right after this, I promise you. I cannot do that. Why not? Because this is not how it goes. Oh, give me strength. You seem very confident that you will escape from this place. Of course I am. Why? Because if I wasn't, I'd go insane. Why resist? Screw you, whoever you are. Uh, sorry, Samantha. Look at... I didn't know who you were, Dr. Hardy, or what you were hiding from me, and I don't know... Now, but I know you didn't deserve any of this. As soon as we make it out of here, I'll make sure you get- you're properly buried. Will you talk to me? You won't reply. Alright, let's get out of here. What's happening? Oh god. Oh god. Janine! Can you hear me? Uh- Hello! You look familiar! Who the hell do you think you are? Is that oh me? god! Stop this! Stop what? You're the one pretending to be me! Oh god! Sleep. Yay, the return of the murder basement! Hi, <laughs> Blizzard! What? Day 3, July 26, AD 2189. Oh, uh, my head. I don't remember falling asleep. I've got to find out what's in the hub. If anyone tries to go inside it again... Okay, let's save. Yeah, I, I do that. Uh... Sam... is dead, though. Get out of here. Let's go see what's going on. Save name murder base murder basement probably. Oh, it uh, it looks more effed. It looks much more effed than it did before. Great. There's oh. twenty eight seven. Favorite number. Can we go in this door yet? No. Okay. Can we go in this door? Yep, we can. Can we go into this door? Nope. Okay. So we gotta fucking look around and see what's going on. <gasps> Chubby! Uh, 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 uh! Who are you? Could you tell me where I am? You're... You're dead! I saw you die! Dead? Yes. I remember being dead, but I don't remember you. Your, your guts were torn out. Their blood still is on the floor. Honestly, huh. Perhaps it's best I don't remember. So where am I? This is impossible. 
Are you going to answer my questions anytime soon? Hello, Trilby. Hello, sir. Yes? Who are Is this you? Is the real Trilby? My name is Trilby. That much I know. And if the sole fact isn't sufficient, though, I've got the feeling I've had or have had other names in the past. Trilby the Cat Burglar? Cat Burglar? Yes, that was one of my names. You can't possibly be Trilby. Nevertheless, I am certain that my name Trilby is my name. But Trilby died hundreds of years ago. And I already told you. I remember that I was dead. So your statement only further reinforces my claim. This doesn't make any sense. And yet here we are. How did you come Oh, you don't remember working for the order? Order. The order of the blessed agonies. Agonies. I remember something. I've got a name. John Defoe. It's important in some way. In fact, I think I spent many years researching him. I've never heard that name before. But you don't remember anything about working for the Order? I'm afraid no. How did you come back to life? I don't know yet. You don't know that resurrection- you do know that resurrection is completely impossible, right? Well, I thought I knew that. Recent events ha are, re are forcing me to recess this, however. All I know is that I was dead, and now I'm alive again. Reinf refusing to believe this will not answer my questions. What- so what do you remember? Not much. A few flashes now and then, images and sounds, no dates or d details attached. I remember John Defoe, as I said. And from that name, a few others' memories return. Standing on a hill, watching something burning in the distance. My hands covered in blood. And then, a place that was two places at once. I'm lying on something hard, my stomach really hurts, and someone is talking to me. And it's mostly a fog up until the moment I woke up here. So you woke up here? Well, not right here. I just felt myself gravitate to this spot. Like something important happened here. Yes! This is where you were killed! As you said, yes. I suppose that would explain it. Maybe you should look around where you woke up. What was your name again? Dacoby. Theodore Dacoby. You've been a great help, Mr. Dacoby. Excuse me, won't you? But, but Trilby! Trilby! Tri Trilby! Trilby, come back, I love you. Trilby! Trilby, ooh! Door. Oh, Mocha, I think you were right. Mocha, I think you were right! <laughs> I think you were right! Mocha is a genius at predicting these things. No, really. I know. Uh, I'm not exaggerating. No, you, you pretty much I are. Have, I have an uncanny uh, ability to predict these things. Oh, yeah. Yes, you do. It's actually horrifying. It's spotless. It looks like it's been completely scrubbed down. <laughs> it seems like vials of blood and plasma are there, and some lumps of tissue in petri dishes. Cylinder. A glass cylindrical tube, just big enough for a human to stand in. There's no technology. This is that's no technology I recognize. There's Trilby. There's someone in there with skin as white as alabaster. I can't make out any features. I don't think they have any. Trilby. A tall- oh, yeah. Yes? He's so astounded. What is this pleasing. place? No idea. This is where I woke up. I've never seen technology like this. Oh, there's a book. Hmm. What year is it? 2189. Oh. 
I can't remember what year it was last time I checked. But I'm pretty sure I've lost a century or two somewhere in along the way. Anything coming back? Nothing from this room. But the more I think about the name John Defoe, it's like there's a scrabbling in the back of my mind. I feel like I'm on the verge of rediscovering something terrible. Something that's almost destroyed me. Listen, this complex is dangerous. I think there's something ha haunting us. It's already killed someone. We need to figure out a way out. And go where? All the answers I seek are here. I just have to find them. You could be killed! Death didn't stop me last time, apparently. If I say- if what I'm you say too, is true- yeah, I'm too fucking sputtered. I'm too <laughs> fucking amazing to die. <laughs> Literally, Trilby has come I'm back like, to life three I'm times. Like, Could you help like me open a door? Sweepwood. <laughs> Not right now. I wish to remain here until I remember something. How long will that take? How should I know? Okay, I guess I have to go. Oh. Hat. Look at hat. There's something awfully familiar about it. Is it a trilby, perhaps? It wouldn't suit me. Yeah, you couldn't pull off you a trilby. Will? Only trilby can pull you off are. trilby. But let's pick up this book. Hmm. I'll add it to my journal. At this time, another came to the tree that... W uh, that was the prince's soul, and this other was of the faith, but blinded by greed, or pride, and thus he was the prideful acolyte. And the prideful acolyte threw down the guide, and subjecting the guide to the blessed agony of the body, he called forth the prince, and the prince crossed over to the land of technology. And the prince was much displeased, for the prideful acolyte would be his, would in his arrogance interfere with the destiny of the guide, so he threw down the prideful acolyte, and the prideful acolyte became the puppet, and knew the name of the king. And with great fear did the guide take up the, the soul of the bridge keeper, immune, immune to its of influence, for the bridge keeper was also greatly fearful, and hid his soul in the, of the bridge keeper away to a place where it would meet its final destiny. And the prince and the so... puppet took their message to the order of bless, blessed agonies. So if I understand this, uh, all of these is like, it's talking about the the people that we've encountered before. Like that last one, I think was talking about Breakfast Man. Yeah, it was talking and about the fact Linkman. that he was. It was talking about Linkman uh, influencing the guide. He's playing with this fish. Um, I, I I heard Curry. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um. I'm trying to remember the other ones, but that one's sticking out the rest, right? That one's sticking out the most. Yeah, right that looked. Now. That was like when the when Lankman almost killed Trilby. Yeah, Trilby's almost apparently almost died a lot. Like a lot, a lot. Like a lot, a lot. Ooh, can we can we talk to Canning? Do we have to talk to Canning? Hello, Canning. Hello, friend. Back again. Dr. Hardy is dead. Reap what you sow. Doesn't that bother you in the slightest? No. You and your whole insane order are accessories to murder. Once we get out of here, once we, we get out, you're going to get a lot of time for this. Your words are like that rubbles of a sparrow. Warbles. Warbles, thank you. The order of blessed agonies fears no mortal agency. We are under divine protection. Tell me what Dr. Hardy was doing here. You still haven't figured it out. I'd be disappointed if you if, if I felt a shroud of respect for you. Just tell me. We were allowing her to fulfill her chosen role. In this case, the field of biochemistry. Who could ask for anything more? What do you mean protection? We are under the guiding hand of God. The king, Chizo, and when he enters this world, I don't even know why you're talking. Why I'm talking to you. You're just a brainwashed lunatic. Your words are sounding hollow even to you, are they not? 
Your guard seems to be alive again. So, you think he rose from the grave? I don't know what to think. Thinking is something you need to do more of, boy. He doesn't remember working for you. Of course not. He never does. When Were I not trapped here, I would have been able to give him his usual instructions. How many times have you had to do that? You quest your questions bore me. Come back if you ever figure anything out. Who is John Defoe? Ah, now we're getting somewhere. John Defoe is the bridge keeper. And it's through him that the king will enter our world. Where is he? And we will finally rise from breakfast. He's all to around brunch. us. Then again, we're all <laughs> drifting somewhere in deep space. Be straight answer for God's sake. There is no straight answer to your question. Why do you ask it anyway? Trilby told me the name. It's the only thing he remembers. Mere words will not fully restore a lost memory. A picture does a better job. What picture? I'll tell you what. If you figure out it by yourself with what work Dr. Hardy was doing for us, I'll help you. I'm prepared to uh. negotiate your release! How utterly tiresome. Just answer my questions. Without diverting from the subject. Deviating. Without personal attacks or evasion or dogma. And promise to cooperate with us. Freedom is too small a reward for such betrayal. You're just a wretched man. You can barely stand on your own two legs. Yeah, one of them's broken! I have an ear of the king. <laughs> okay. What's in the hub? Very little. Very little of anything corporeal, anyway. What does that even mean? It means that most standard scientific tests would indicate that the hub is largely empty. And what is in there has absolutely no purpose. But what did the followers of the true way know different? This isn't helping at all. I didn't intend it to. What is the purpose of this facility? Now, you know I'm not going to answer that. No, and I know why. It's because you don't know, do you? You're just as much a patsy in this as we all- as we are. Now you're just wasting breath. So have the Order abandoned you down here? So why have the Order abandoned you down here? My brethren will give me this responsibility as a gesture of recognition and respect. No. Something you, of course, would know nothing about. No, you're just- you're literally just a patsy. John Defoe is bu- <laughs> No, John Defoe is something more. Why is the main corridor changing? In what way is it changing? You know. It's turning into some sort of dungeon, I suppose? Filthy walls and floor? Blood splatters everywhere? Now, how can I know that? I've been stuck in here this whole time. So to say it changes before your very eyes. Are you hearing voices too? Forget it. I figured out what Dr. Hardy was doing! Do tell. She was a cloner! She was a cloner! She was creating multiple copies of Trilby. And I thought I saw him come back to life. It was just a different clone. Congratulations! Now, the more complex question. Why? What would we need clones of this particular individual for? You I, need the guide. I don't know. And you well, don't I know. know anything about the Defoe Manor incident? The Cla Clan Browin Hotel incident? No. Huh. Forget it then. Get out of the way, Dacobi! Alright, you want to know <laughs> okay, what I know what's going memory? on here. <laughs> Here's my advice. A newborn often reacts positively to an image of its mother. That's all you can give me? That's all I intend to give you. Now fuck off. You- I'm not your personal advisor, boy. Okay. So- Can I just crash through the game and be like, okay, I know what's going on. <laughs> Alright, look! Dude, give me a second! Give me a second, I know what's happening here. 